What's up everyone, Karoo here and today we have another video in our series 4.5 Now What with Mr. Winston Dew here. And today we have a great lesson, we're going to do a backhand lesson. I know a lot of you wanted, have commented that he needs work on his backhand, so today this, that's what we're going to do. And before we keep going, I want to thank everybody for the great feedback that we've gotten so far with this series. I think it's resonating with a lot of you. A lot of you might have the same issues that he has. Uh, so. Hopefully this, this video is helping. And if it is, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us expand our reach. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, yes, please subscribe. And also subscribe to Winston's channel. Link is gonna be down below. But let's go over what we're doing today in today's lesson. I'm splitting in two parts. I, the first part will be focusing on his lower body. That's where his power, stability comes from. So I just want him to have the, the right understanding of what should be happening with the lower body through the shot, before the shot, um, after the contact and all that, that's gonna give him the consistent, reliable power, really playing with his body. And the second part would be the sequencing of his arms and hands, uh, making sure everything is synced, and then obviously syncing lower body with the upper body so he can hit high quality backhands over and over. All right, so we got Winston here. Before we even start the lesson, I just kind of want to hear his thoughts on his back and what, what he's feeling like maybe it's going wrong. You know, it's, we, we just kind of have a feel for it. Yeah. Just let me know uh, what's been kind of okay. the struggle. So backhand overall is definitely less consistent than my forehand. Um, some days it does feel really good, but that's very rare nowadays. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing is I don't really drive through. Sometimes I'll just line it up then fall back. Mm -hmm. So I'm off the back foot. Or sometimes if I drive through, maybe I'm going too flat, so it's just going into the net. I'm not getting enough mm -hmm. low to high. Um, the days that it does feel good, it just some days I'll feel really lined up and be able to drive through perfectly. But maybe my technique's off most days and not allowing me to do that most of the time. So. Okay. Okay. So I, basically, what I said earlier, I think the the main focus and is what I usually do with most people for the back, and is really getting to them to understand what's happening with the lower body, right? Mm -hmm. um, Power, where do you think power is coming from From, on your back end? Which leg? Uh, the front? Maybe the back pushing in. Yes. Yeah, the back so, pushes in. Exactly, it's that. So it's power on the back end side, it's gonna come from your left leg, if you're a righty, if you're a lefty, right leg. But basically, this push into the right leg, it's what creates the power, and obviously the left hip all engage through that swing. You see, like from the top of my swing, I don't have to do much with my arms. I'm just kind of rotating and then I'm gonna extend through that shot. So you need to start feeling like you are always pushing off that left leg. The harder that shot is, the more you're still gonna push from that left leg and left hip. So let's just hit a couple here normal don't think about anything else i'm going to feed you some um, and then we'll go from there but just try to push good see that's already a, a good stroke there you go look at that that's already a good stroke just boom you see it goes left right and then some people pivot a bit more right like i usually you mean like this yeah like some people do through. some people don't it, it, it's okay to not do it but i i usually tell people to feel a left right hit left, right, hit, right? And then if you pivot, that's fine. But like really feeling that left, right, hit. Okay, okay here we go. Left, right, hit. It's a bit too close to you, just get a little more space. Hit, there you go, that's perfect. Left, right, hit, that's perfect. Here we go. Left, right, hit. Oh, that Why did it drop much. so much? Yeah, here we go. Try to catch it a bit higher. Hit, oh. here we go. One, one, left, right, hit. Good, perfect. So a good drill, for this, so you can really get, get a feeling for, for this left leg pushing, is like we're gonna start basically almost like in a baseball position like this, in one, on one leg, yeah. So okay. you're gonna kind of yeah. bounce it a little bit, I'm gonna feed, and you're just gonna step into it and hit. And again, okay. you're gonna hit you here, and you're just gonna step into it okay. and hit, okay? So, so you have to me, feed it well, because I I'll can't feed, I'll it. feed it well. Okay. So start, turn very sideways, there you go, and Step into it, bah, there you go. Really, really exaggerate. We're just exaggerating the feeling. And go, good. Have the tendency of drop, letting it drop too much. Don't let it go below your knees. And go, good. 
Good. There you go. Again. And go. Good. All right, try to get those hands all the way up. We're going to talk about the hands in a second, okay. but just making sure you're good. Perfect. Here we go. And go. Try to start sideways already. Start sideways. There you go. On one leg. There. So you don't have to like turn. Good. There you go. Really drive. And good. Here we go. One more. And good. That's perfect. So basically that's the feeling, right? So I try to, I try to do it, some, some people don't, but I try to do it when I'm moving to my left side. I don't like close my hips too quickly, right? I'm moving already to like here and then I'm kind of locked. So you move first, then close? Yes. So I go more side shuffles and then turn and hit. So I try to put myself in a position where I can side shuffle a bit and then really drive into the ball, no matter what, even if the ball is kind of deep. So let's just do a couple here where I'm going to feet a bit, a bit wider and you're going to go side shuffle. And then whenever you feel like you're in the right spot, yes, that was perfect. That's it. Okay. So start more, more here in the middle. Here we go there and good. Whew. Look at that. And just drive. Don't oh, worry. Yeah. Don't let it drop. Come on. Drive to it. Good. Here we go. Drive to it. Good. Still letting it drop so much. Come on. Move to it. There it is. Look at that. Look at that power. He's laughing, laughing right now. That's okay. You see how strong you're hitting? Good. That's fine. Here we go. Last one. Good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Before we continue, as you can see, I draw a lot of my inspiration for these videos from my lessons, from my time on court, because it's during that time that I see a lot of the mistakes players are making. So we made a free guide highlighting three of the major mistakes I see amateurs making and obviously how to correct them. So if you're sick of losing points you deserve to win, go to top3mistakes.com and download our free guide. Again, top3mistakes.com. Just put your email, download the free guide. It's going to help a lot. We put a lot of work into this and I think you're gonna like it. And now let's go back to the video. All right, so the next part is obviously the sequencing of the arms and hands. We, we spoke a little bit about off camera, so the lesson is not too long, but basically a, a common error with amateurs is uh, thinking that the, the double-handed backhand needs to be a left-handed mm. forehand. And then, then you end up engaging this left hand way too quickly. And what happens is this like, look, kind of like chicken wing looking backhand and we end up hitting the ball kind of too far here instead of all the way there in front. You see the difference of this versus this, yeah. right? The Winston doesn't do that so much, but he does it a little bit um, and it doesn't engage that right side uh, so well. So basically, Eric, can we hit some? So I'm gonna show you just a couple here, uh, what I'm talking about, but basically from the top of my swing, remember we're gonna really engage that left hip. I'm not gonna really put too much emphasis on my, my left hand pretty much up until the contact. So the right side is gonna take over a little bit. So just here, cross core. See, it? boom, right side. You see, I can take the hand off the, off the grip. I'm pushing still with the left and pulling with the right. And you see, I can still hit. That's what's creating the shape, you see? That's what's creating the shape. Obviously, if I keep it all the way up with both hands, see, that's what allows me to keep the ball on my strings for a long time and feel like I'm really not like chopping at it. Like th this is the, when the wrists kind of go like choppy like this, that's the problem. You want to be there. A little bit of bow wrist, bow wrist and in front, right? So try to Can not- Can I try to summarize this for you? I think yeah. a lot of beginners try to turn over the wrist like that. Yes. You're kind of stressing, emphasizing, pushing through and not turning over. Not turning through the over. Target. Yeah, exactly. And I then sometimes if, do this too, like if you turn over and exactly. try to flick it a bit. All I want us to do right now is I'm going to feed you and you're going to try to do what I just did, hit and then let go of the left hand. Okay. Okay. So you're going to hit. Like that. Oh, no, you, you that you left, let go of before you hit. Hit, stop at your contact point. Yes. Stop your contact point. Boom. There. And from here, you just kind of allow. Let go. Let go and like roll all the way through it. Like a one-handed finish. Okay. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Okay. Let's try a couple here. 
I know it's gonna feel tricky, but that's, that's what's gonna keep the ball going in and out. There you go, that's a great shot. Still feel like, there you go, feel like you're extending through the target. There you go, that's a perfect shot. Go, there you go, really feel that. Feel that right wrist giving a little bit more of a roll. There you go, see how you're pushing towards the target? There you go, that's a really good shot. There you go. There you go. Feels awkward, right? But it's kind of, it's the right way to do it. Last one. Whoa. Oh, here one you go. More, Let's more. do it again. Don't let it come up, right? There you go. So tiny bit more in front. You see, I think some of your contacts are still a little bit too behind your, okay. your, your hips. Yeah. Tiny bit more there. You see, when you naturally go a bit more in front, see this right, right hand yeah. kind of bows a little bit, yeah. and that's what's going to create okay. the shape. Yes, really allow this kind of like bow. It should end like this kind of, right? No, you end like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you see like, look, look if I hit a one-hander. See? Mm. Two-hander. You see? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Exactly that. Okay. Yeah, basically I want to get both of those hands all the way up here if I can. Mm -hmm. All right, but for now, let's just do it letting go a little bit. Just a couple more letting go. There you go, perfect. There we go. Really get that hand all the way up. There you go. Again, he has a little bit different grip than mine. Um, so that's why he, it's like a little bit harder for him to like roll through it. But like, it's still like this is engaging, keeping the ball on your strings. Yeah. And then obviously the left is helping with that roll through, right? Yeah. Yes gonna help with that row through. So you're gonna be here, you're gonna be hitting, both hands are rolling, right? Mm -hmm. And then phew, comes all the way through. Ready? There we go. So don't forget your lower body, right? There you go, that was a great one. Don't forget your lower body. Good, good big step to the ball. It's perfect, look at that. Go. Good, look at that. You see how he's creating like naturally the spin? Yeah. That one just kind of opened the face a bit. There we go, last two. Good. Last one. Good. Yeah. All right, let's rally some. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now focusing really on the legs. Nice, that was really good. On the legs, pushing, oh, yeah. good. Try not to let it drop. Nice, way to get both of those hands all the way up. There you go. You see, you see how he, wait one second. Actually, that was great. You see how he was really getting both of those hands all the way up above the shoulder here and not feeling like he's going, uh. mm -hmm. That's the thing. Like I extended really well. Exactly. The, that extension will keep the ball on the strings and really f you're going to feel the control of it. And then you're going to start actually be able to hit bigger and bigger because you, you feel it on your strings. Yeah. So the harder the ball, even if it's a glow here, bah, get those hands all the way up. Keep pushing with the legs. Mm -hmm. Here we go. That's okay, that's okay. And push towards him. Keep, every time the push towards whatever your target is. So you feel like you're engaging that left and hip, left leg and hip towards your target there. If you kind of go this way a bit too much, yeah. then you're gonna have those weird pull. All right, so that was it, that was it. So with that high ball, one second, with the higher ball, come here. I want you to feel like, again, this here is gonna, see that right hand? It's gonna keep it in. You're allowing that ball to get a bit too far behind you, and then you're, you're chopping the left. Mm -hmm. There, see? There and then still go up. Yeah, yes, that's the way. Here we go. It's a bit too far behind you, it's okay. In front, there you go, in front of the hip. Front of the, there it is. See, in front of the hip. Yeah. Front of the hip and the racket is already on the way up as you're hitting it. That was a good ball, huh? That's it. In front of the hip. That's it. Miss, that's the mistake. That's the mistake. Miss like that. Here we go. Good. It's okay. That's okay. That's a great. That was great. See, his leg actually went up a bit here. It's because he was pushing. That's what I want to see. 
Engage that right side. Right. There you go. And right. Good. And right. Good. And right. There you go. It's a good job. Yo, be ready to hit before and still. And right. That's okay. That was a great. That was a great one. That was a great one. Do you see how like quality those were? And you're not doing much. That's it. And go. Woo! Starting to find it. He's starting to find it. Go. That's it. Good job. That was a great. That was a hell of a of a rally. How? What? What did you? What was in your mind there? That's the question. Um, trying to get there early and load up, especially on the back leg, mm -hmm. to be able to drive through, extend. Uh huh. A lot of the other ones, he was hitting some good slices, so hard to time. Yeah, it's a bit hard a to time my the strike slice. Zone too, yeah. But you still want to feel like that. It's sort of that you go less second into the right. You don't worry about getting to that right leg too quickly. It's like less second. It's like. You know, you don't, you don't spend too much time on that right leg, okay. right? But then, again, the right upper body engages, the left lower body engages. Everything together poof, comes through. That was a perfect rally right there. You, you actually look pretty loose. You're like, oh, I'm just going to rip it. Here we go. Couple more. Beautiful. Go, go, go. Look at that. Oh, go, go, go. Look at that. Good, dude, so good. How good is that? Good. Right, but like it feels, it feels very repeatable. It, it, as I'm watching from the outside here, it looks like you're gonna make all of them. It's like it legit looks like you're gonna make all of them because you're not letting it come to like this part, like you see, you guys can see here on camera, here, right? You're, you're always there, always there. No turning over, no chicken wings, just always here. And then your left leg is taking all of the, the pain. It's like, and you're not, you don't feel like the, the racket is like kind of wobbling every time you're hitting it through. Here we go, last two here. Last two, cause he's got it. Look at that. Perfect. Last one. Perfect. Around the hip. Whew. Unreal. And whoa. Go, go, go. Yeah, left leg on the open stance. Wait, go. Keep that ball alive. And push. Beautiful. Both those hands all the way up. Nice. All right, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna end on that one. This guy is just like, learns quick, you see? It's just, but that's the input. The input doesn't change, right? Like if it feels awkward, if, uh, there are days that are gonna feel weird, you have to trust the left leg, the left hip coming through, the, the, the right side kind of taking over a little bit, that contact point a little bit more in front, right? And then you're gonna get all the way up to here, no matter what. You're just getting it up to here. You see that turn over here, that roll over here, gets to here, and then the shape is always the same, very repeatable. All right, just finishing the lesson here. I mean, how awesome was, were those rallies just at the end? I mean, the guys got it. For, before everything, the socks. Check out the socks. Check out the socks. <laughs> he, he made sure he wore the right socks today, so good stuff. But. You see how when he committed to the input, right, which was left leg pushing and that right hand kind of engaging how many balls he was hitting. It looked like he was going to make all of them, but you tell me how he felt. I think especially when I got it lined up, uh, weight transfer going, extending through, it felt super easy. Mm -hmm. Like you just guide it cross court or guide it down line. Yeah. There's not that much could go wrong, but... Maybe what I struggled with, with was just getting in place, the footwork. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I think you were pointing out I was hitting it too behind, mm -hmm. not forward enough. And if I hit it too behind, I tend to roll over the wrist. Mm -hmm. right, so. Yeah, I think, in, and again, I, remember, 
when you're at your level, things are not going to be like, you're not going to hit them perfect every time, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're going to be out of position. And this is for every level in tennis. That's the point of tennis is making the other guy hit very awkward shots. Mm -hmm. But if you can always go back to that input immediately, like mm -hmm. you make the, you make the mistake, it could, it could feel maybe where, where the legs or yeah. the hands, um, but you, you know where you need to do, because this is what you need to do. There's nothing really more. Yeah. Going back to the first two lessons, I, your style continues to be dominate with the forehand, yep. right? Create the chances with the forehand. Yeah. But now if you can hit those backhands yeah. over and over with quality, with yeah. depth, they don't have to be winners, don't have to be down the line winners, yeah. but you can keep them deep, you can keep them pushing the person back, yeah. and then even the backhands will set up easier forehands. Yeah. And then it goes back to taking that ball a little bit earlier yeah. from lesson number two, if you haven't watched it, link down below, and then putting balls away, yeah. right? I think I definitely want to still rely on the forehand as the weapon, but just having a more consistent, confident backhand, like you said, kind of sets me up with to hit more forehands if I can hit a deep backhand or just take some pressure off the forehand. I don't have to yeah. feel like I have to run to hit every single forehand. Run around I can so hit much. a decent backhand. Exactly. Just I think that backhand. that's a very important point where someone that wants to dominate with the forehand a lot sometimes will expose themselves too much by going around the back and maybe then you have to press because you're so far that yeah. way and then leave you have a lot of core open. open leave a lot of core open and now you can actually play a, a quality back and not give too much core and then actually use that your speed to take balls a little bit earlier yeah. not so far yeah. around the ball yeah. so that's the perfect way to yeah. play it i think the better your back end becomes in terms of just the quality you can hit on that yeah. side yeah. the better your forehand is going to be. Yeah. You know, the more, yeah. the more points you'll get with your forehand. But that's really it. That was an awesome lesson. You're doing unreal already. Thanks. But you have to do it. You have to go on the court and do it until yeah. it's second nature. It doesn't take any of yeah. your brain power anymore. Yeah. All right? Yep. Great stuff. Thanks. All Coach. right? Don't forget to subscribe to this guy. Thanks for watching. And subscribe to this channel. He's so close to 100K. <laughs> so close. So close. I finally bro broke 90. 100 is, is uh, it's coming soon. It's coming. Um, and then we'll we'll meet meet up soon for another lesson. Uh, and thanks for thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, guys. All right, great stuff. Yeah.